LLMs can generate things, but they cannot remember them. Well, at least for now. That is where memory engines of all sorts come into play. We have covered lots of them on the channel. In this video, we are going to install this open source memory, memory engine locally and we are going to test it out. First, I will start from basic and then we will move on to a bit of a real world example. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. So the purpose of this memory open source memory engine is to give LLMs, AI agents and multi-agent systems human-like mem memory capabilities. It acts as a second brain for your AI applications by automatically recording, processing and injecting relevant context from past conversations. The tool features dual mode memory injection with conscious short term memory like human working memory and intelligent auto research functionality that dynamically retrieves relevant information from your entire conversation history. Memory supports multiple databases as a store like SQLite, Postgres, MySQL and integrates universally with any LLM library including OpenAI, Anthropic and Lite LLM. I haven't really seen any integration with Olama yet but I will see if it does that. I will create another video later on but at the moment I really don't see anything out of the box. There are a lot of use cases for this sort of tool, which could include persistent AI assistance or multi-session project collaboration, customer support systems, and the list goes on and on and on. So let's get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. And if you are looking to rent a VM or GPU or CPU on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPUs. Now, let me first quickly create a virtual environment with Konda. And while it creates that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video, who are Camel. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And that is all done. Next, you can install Memory SDK with light LLM. It's quite lightweight, shouldn't take too long. and everything is installed. Next up, we need to set our key. I'm going to go with Anthropic, but you can go with OpenAI or any other provided through light LLM. So let me set my key and clear the screen. And this is a code which demonstrates this memory in action. So what this code is doing, it is using this open source memory engine to give AI conversation persistent memory across multiple interactions. So you see, first up, I have imported these libraries and then from there I am initializing this memory with auto ingestion enabled and then I'm conducting three separate conversation with Claude's model. This is a sonnet one I'm using and the content is that I'm initializing it with that. I am Fahad Mirza, an AI YouTuber who creates educational content about AI and all that stuff. And then once that is confirmed, I am going towards second conversation. And then this is where after introducing myself, I am asking for help with a video outline about LLM memory systems. And then after this second is done, I am going with the third conversation to test the memory. Now, this is where um, we are going to test if it remembers the conversation from previous one or not in different sessions. So let me go and then run this. So it initializes the memory. This is the first one. This is the second one where it is going to remember who Fahad Mirza is. And there you go. And then the third one. And it has given us that. Um, okay, you see this time it has failed here. It says that I'm afraid I don't actually know your name or what you do for work as an AI assistant. I don't know. So the second one was success. The third one was not a success. Now this is very interesting because the first time when I ran, ran it, it worked. So without changing anything, let me run it again. Now, all of this is happening in memory. I'm not storing it in any sort of database and I'm not going to edit this. Uh, as the spirit of this channel, I'm going to show you with all of its positives and negatives. Anyway, let me run this. 
so i'm going to run this let's wait for it the first conversation should appear where it is establishing the context that who fahad mirza is and its channel and then it has produced the output for the video and in the third conversation it has remembered who fahad mirza is so second time is the charm maybe just maybe it we just have to wait for the memory to settle in maybe it stores it and then um, we just have to wait for it i'm not sure i have um, you know i have seen that sometime even it works on the first time anyway let's now look at a real world example okay now in this example what i'm trying to uh, demonstrate is that how memory i could also build a sort of persistent memory and for this we are just building this ai project assistant where we are using the SQLite database, it will create it on the fly. You just need to install it with pip install SQLite in your local system. And then from there, I'm just using um, some memory and all that stuff, some, the same data which I'm going to use. And I will be going with different uh, users where we will be checking that, okay, this is a channel, this is a video, this many views are there, and there are multiple sessions. Then I'm going to test out if after storing that memory in the SQLite database, if that persists or not, and if my AI agent or this code is able to retrieve it or not. So let me save this code. Let me go back to my terminal. And now let's run the code. So it is going to start the first conversation or first session. And then it has got that data. It is doing the content planning and then it is just going with the third one and you can see that it has retrieved all the information around my name the views channel count and all that stuff which i gave it above so that is pretty cool i would say now there are a few other features which you can also check out other than this uh, stateless and stateful persistent or uh, persistence of the memory plus there are a few things like uh, you can go with Pydentic based intelligence where it has some structured memory processing with validation. And then um, most of the time it works out of the box, but you already saw that I think it is still rough at the edges. So maybe you might have to build your own sort of um, exception handling and reliability stuff so that you know it works all the time. And if it doesn't, you just retry it. That's it. Let me know what do you think about it. And if you like the content, please do me a favor, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Plus, um, I don't do any marketing, so I just heavily totally rely on you guys to do the marketing. So please share it among your social media. Also, if you're interested in other memory related software, just go and search with memory. You see that not only I have covered a lot of memory tools, but I have also done few comparison videos around them. Thanks for all the support.